Hi, this is Jason Lamb, the Clay County Agricultural Extension Agent, and this is our fifth session with the Egg to Chick program. As you can see, if you look down here, we've got six baby chicks. We had seven that hatched out, and unfortunately, one didn't make it. So, and that's just part of it. Sometimes you don't know why they don't make it, but they just don't make it. So, but we're happy that we have our six chicks here and that they hatched out. And I hope that you've learned quite a bit from this egg to chick program about hatching out baby chicks. What do we use chickens for? We use chickens for the meat, like in chicken nuggets. We use the feathers in feather meal that we make into a livestock feed. It's a high protein source for livestock. And we can also use the feathers for uh, jacket insulation, for jackets and pillows. Some people like uh, feathered pillows. So we could also use it for dog food. Whatever's left over that we can't use in those other ways, we make into dog food. So those are the things that we can use chickens for. Okay guys, we need to review what we've learned about incubating and hatching out uh, chicks. First things first, what, how many days does it take to hatch out baby chicks? 21 days. What is our temperature supposed to be for that whole period of time? 99.5 degrees. What is our humidity supposed to be at until the 17th day? That's 50%. What is humidity? Humidity is the moisture in the air. On the 17th day, what do we do? We do several things, right? We take the eggs uh, off the egg turner and we place it inside, back inside the incubator on the grate so that the baby chicks can get in position to hatch out. We also take the red plugs out of the incubator. And then we increase the humidity by adding more water into the incubator. So we increase the humidity to what percent? 75%. And that goes up until the 21st day. Okay. Now, let's review some of the parts of the eggs that, that we learned, all right? What protects that baby chick? The shell. The shell protects that baby chick, all right? Uh, what is the plastic-like film that's right inside of that shell that holds all of the water in? Okay, that's called the shell membrane right here on the inside of that egg, right? That's the shell membrane. What does the baby chick use as a food source? Right, the yellow yolk, that's their food source. This blue stuff, right, there's an outside layer and an inside layer. What is the big term that we call that? It is called albumin, albumin, okay? What are the little ropes that hold the yolk in the center of the egg called? They're called chaliza, chaliza. If you look over here, we have a space over here. And that's for the baby chick to breathe, right? What's it called? An air cell right here and that air cell gets bigger as that baby chick grows and needs more air all right now we have a whole bunch of tiny little holes in that egg shell right all over the egg and they allow more air to go in what are those tiny little holes called they're called pores right and they're so small that they, they don't let liquid out, but they can let air in, okay? 
what is the spot, the little red spot, where the baby chink resides when it first starts to developing? What's it called? It's called the blastoderm. The blastoderm. Okay? And that is the parts of the egg. Some other things we need to review. Do we have to have a rooster in the pen to have baby chicks? Yes, we do. And those are called fertilized eggs. There has to be a male and a female in the pen to produce baby chicks. Can hens have eggs without a rooster? Yes, they can. Hens just have eggs. They lay eggs all the time. All right, why are there different colors of eggs? Well, that comes from the different breeds of chickens or different kinds of chickens that are out there. There's larger chickens and smaller chickens and lots of different colors and they all produce different colored eggs. And you saw that we could have blue eggs or green eggs, tan eggs and white eggs are the most common colors that we see. What is the difference between the eggs that we get at the store and the eggs that we have here? The eggs that we get at the store are not fertilized eggs and there's no rooster in the pen. So you'll never see a little red spot in those eggs. Eggs that we have here obviously are fertilized eggs. Another thing we need to talk about, remind you guys of, is salmonella. And salmonella is a disease that you can get that's like the flu, but it can be pretty bad. And what do you need to do to protect yourself from that? You need to wash your hands and keep your areas clean after messing with chickens or any type of thing with chickens, like meat, the shell, uh, cooking, any of those messing with baby chicks, always wash your hands and and use hand, or use hand sanitizer to keep everything clean. Well, here's our chickens. These are the ones that we have, and we have six of them. So we had a successful hatching with these baby chicks. I hope you guys have enjoyed our egg to chick program and that you learned something. And if you would like to have help uh, doing it yourself, if you want to hatch out baby chicks, please call us at the Extension Office and we'll be happy to help you. So this has been a program of the Clay County Extension Service with NMSU, and we thank you all for participating. If you have any questions, please call us here at the office at 461-0562. Thank you.